How's it going everyone? I tried just about every foam cleaner, every foam carpet cleaner, foam fabric cleaner out there, cheap to expensive, they are all the same. They all perform just about exactly the same. That said, um, for $1.98 at a local dollar store in my area per can, um, the most expensive I've seen it was $2.05 at a grocery store. Uh, they're found in many places. It is a carpet foamer, a fabric foam cleaner. It is uh, pet safe. It is a spot remover for coffee, tea, oil, grease, any kind of stains uh, you can come across. Um, it, uh, it claims to be able to clean synthetic fabrics, which is important. And I have a car out here that I tested it on. I'm going to show you the process we went through with it. It was a mess. It took one can, one can of this for the whole interior, and it was a mess, and I'm going to show you here. So if you have this in your area, if you can find it, if not, I'm going to put a link down below. If they're all the same, for $1.98, you could do a whole interior. That's incredible. Just wanted to pass that on to you. Do with it what you please. Let's check this out. Outside of the car, not too bad, but the interior is a polar opposite. So this will be our test subject today for the foamer. First things first, a thorough vac to uh, remove any loose dirt particles. We're going to put a nice thick layer uh, of foam on the seat. It's going to need it to begin with, but we want to give it a fighting chance here. We're not going to use any steamers. We're not going to use retractors. We're not going to use anything but uh, a little bit of agitation. Uh, we'll bring in the air chuck. After agitation, we'll blow out um, whatever dirt it has lifted from the, uh, from the cloth, and we'll, uh, we'll let it dry and take a look. I'm going to use an aggressive brush. I'm going to do one panel at a time. I'm going to agitate and mop off what's, uh, what's left on the panel. Move on, then we'll grab the air chuck. I actually like to grab a foamer every once in a while for carpets or cloth seats. It works, works well on both. The foaming action lets you know where you're working, where you have been, and where you have to go, if that makes any sense. The label on the 409 foamer um, claims to leave a protective uh, coat behind, um, something probably like uh, Scotchgard was intended. I mean, I have to admit at this point, it's hard to tell if there's any stains that are going to be left behind at all. It really seems to be working well. Uh, time will tell when it dries though. A bunch of the stains look like they've they've been there for quite some time, but they also look deep, like it's penetrated the, uh, the cloth top into the foam padding. When it goes into the foam padding, it's it's a pain because the uh, the cloth up top acts like a wick, draws the uh, stain right back up into it again. So it can be uh, quite a repetitive uh, job to remove some of this stuff. We're just about done here. We, we just want to bear down and mop up as much moisture as we can before we uh, grab the air chuck and blow, uh, blow some of that 
dirt, um, whatever grit and dirt has been lifted up from the farmer. So we're just going to use the air chuck and we're going to catch the moisture and dirt that is um, ejected by the compressed air and catch it with a dry microfiber. This stuff, for the price, is really impressive. The only problem I've ever run into it, uh, maybe one out of every case, has a bad um, a spray nozzle. Just take it back, they'll exchange it for another one. Okay, we're just going to mop it up good one more time and then uh, we'll let it go, we'll let it dry, come back and see if there's any staining left over. I'll let the before and after speak for themselves, but for $1.97.98, um, one can of the 409 carpet foamer does pretty well. It did pretty well compared to some of the eight, nine dollar per can foam carpet cleaners out there. And they all work the same, but this did a great job. And for under two bucks per can, and you can do that whole interior with one can, I don't think you can beat it. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate. Um, leave us know what you like to use in your interior for a foamer. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you next time.